Hello everybody. So, I've been watching some Halloween collection tours recently, including horror and monster collectibles, font former, and many others. So I thought, why not do that too? So I got quite a bit of things I have. And whenever I buy more, I shall update. I shall do this every year and I'll show the update to my collection. So let's just get right into it. All right, I wanted to start my bathroom real quick just to show this on. It is a glittery pumpkin soap dispenser. So I thought that was pretty neat. It's not mine, we just got it. So, yeah. All right, so I wanted to start off with showing the items, I, or clothing items I have. So first off, we have my beanie from the haunted house attraction I work at called Red Road Fear Park. And I got it, I think 2019 or 20. And I like it, especially for the winter time. Next up, I have my Nightmare Before Christmas socks. And they're like those really fuzzy high socks. I really like them. I got them from Christmas of last year, 2022, as of this recording. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. They're soft. All right, next up, that's a t-shirt I received, I bought in 2019. It says, I scream, you scream. We all scream for our brains. It's like a zombie dude holding intestines and eyeball ice cream. I really like how it looks, the whole gory stuff. It's I just noticed that a little bowl of body parts and intestines right there. I never noticed that before. It's got a little bloody scoop knife thing. So yeah. Next up, I got a silly t-shirt saying, I got your back. And I just pulled the that got his spine out, which I thought was hilarious. So next up, we got You Make Me Feel Alive. That's a skeleton watering those flowers. And that's about it. It's got a nice art style, kind of. Next up, we have a Creep Show shirt, the original series, I believe. Uh, I think it's a comic book that got turned into a TV show. I have yet to check that out. And also the Hulu one, I've yet to watch. Like so this Taco Tuesday shirt. Right there. On the front is a palm tree on the back though. There's a skeleton on the beach. Just like a deserted little island. That kind of trope. All right, next up, we have a marshmallow, not marshmallow, a skeleton camping, I presume, with a marshmallow on a stick, ready to roast it up. Oh. The back is Yosemite, California. There he is again in his campsite. Our right, next up is the t-shirt I got in 2018 at Red Run, my first year working there. It's the yellow part is supposed to be white. I thought it was supposed to be that yellow because that's how it was when I got it. But later I saw they were white. 
So I guess I got a special version. It's like a bunch of zombies. I like it. Next up is a hoodie. With the logo on it from 2022, I think. And they were giving a bunch of these away for free because there was a misprint somewhere. I don't remember what they said the misprint was. Maybe the text. Maybe that E smushed up. I'm not too sure. All I remember is saying it was a misprint. And finally, we got these Red Rum Crew shirts in 2019. And haven't got them at any other year after that. For whatever reason, but one of the sleeves is either too long slash the other is too short or the other way around. But it's good for cold weather. Next up, I got this big pirate skull thing, a dinosaur poking out. It was from a, those toy lines where you smash the little egg capsules and the little toys inside. I'll explain more later on. And he has he came with an eye, an, a light up eyeball in there, but I removed it just because I thought it looked cooler. And as far as I know, I can't remove this dinosaur thing poking out. Because dinosaurs aren't really Halloween-y. But what can you do? I guess it, cause if I could take it out, it'd be like a big, huge bullet wound on the skull or whatever. That's about it for that one. All right, in 2021, our haunted house red room started doing awards night on the very last night. And I got, they're called red roomies. I got best improved. I don't know how, I've been doing the same thing since I was a clown in 2019. Cause 2018, I was a swamp creature in our asylum haunt. And last year's 2022's was more short, like wider, and the skull is bigger, and it's more cartoonish look. I might ask one of my friends to receive it. They could show me a picture, and I could show it later on, see what it looks like. And same with any other year I don't win one, for whenever they continue. Next up, we got the McDonald's 2022 pumpkin blue bucket. So last year I went on a boo bucket hunt for the pumpkin. I was I got a couple of witches as well. I never found a ghost. I live near like four, three or four McDonald's locations. They got gave me the witch and the pumpkin. I got the witch the most. And I would have had I don't have the witch now because I gave my friend a duplicate witch because she wanted. Well, I got one witch. I gave someone else a duplicate witch, but she, my friend really wanted a blue bucket. I felt like being nice, so I gave her the witch. So one day I might go on eBay and buy the witch and ghost. And also I'm putting here my Spirit of Children dance. This is 2022's camera. Okay. And I, when I went to Spirit last week, they didn't have the bands, so I might go to a different one, see if they have the bands. I want to collect one a year at least. Next so up, we have a Jason Voorhees solar powered ball head. It's kind of working because of my spooky lighting. But I like how he stopped. This was before I finished the Friday the 13th movie series. 
So now that I finished watching him, I'm, I like it even more. Next up we have a uh, hard plastic doll head thing. I really like it. And one day, maybe next year, I want to buy the Spirit Halloween Darling Dolly animatronic. Even if I just, my room is really small, so I don't know where I'd set it. So hopefully I've moved, I'll be moved out by then and just have it on display and have this near, I have like a doll section, which I think would be cool and creepy. So yeah, there's that. Next up we have a little statue of Jack the Reaper, the mascot of Spirit Halloween. This is orange eye barely, but it's like good material, I don't know what it is, but I saw Hunt Former receive this and review this, I had to, I had to get it, because I like Spirit, and hopefully next year my financial situation will be a lot better so I can get a lot more Spirit props, but I signed up for their email coupon list thing after watching 2018, the YouTuber super enthused to go to Spirit and she explained how to do that. So now I have coupons a lot more. Next up, we just have a bunch of little creepy knickknacks. So last year I bought a pack of spiders of different kinds. I traded one of our my coworkers who was had cockroaches, one of those for that. Another person had these bloody severed fingers. So I, I traded for that as well. And one of our main veteran actors, whose tenth year was last year, said last year was his last year to act. His name is Dr. Smiley. There was more blood on this, but it faded off or something, so I'm not to touch that up. We gave up some of us these smiley pins to remember his character. Next up, we got this Spirit Halloween Clown Machete, which I really like. Um, another goal of mine is to get all the clown weapons from Spirit and just have like a clown weapons section. Maybe you can put them on wall mounts or something. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. So we have this skeleton spider, even though spiders don't have bones. That's part of like Walmart and other places, just turning any creature you could think of into a skeleton. Which I might get another skeleton animal. No plan of mine, I'll say here because it's related. Get a life-size skeleton, put it in my car seat and freak people out. Also a mermaid skeleton, so I can wrap the loose wrap around it, heat gun it close to the thing, and paint it with red or brownish wood stain to look like a mermaid corpse, and put that somewhere. I just gotta get the materials, so maybe I'll do it this year also. So I learned how to do it thanks to Haunt Former again for it corpsing a mermaid skeleton in his prop build, haunt build video for Port Chum this year, 2023. Finally, for my nightstand or dresser decorations, it's a black and orange skeleton. There's a hole in the back, because I had a little light that you had to plug into a wall. Um, it wouldn't light up inside, but I would leave it on, but I wouldn't want that to mess anything up. And another plan is around my door frame and around the inside of my closet, get red LED light strip adhesive so I can have red mood lighting. And also, is a shorty mask from Killer Clowns. I was gonna get slim. But maybe the seal gets slim and put in there. And for my door, maybe I'll get a killer, 
Saw Killer Clowns from Outer Space Halloween Wreath. Popcorn and sh a little shorty in the center is like Halo. I thought that would be cool. And another thing I wanted for here is like a little Holly doll. It was a black doll from at home or something. It, get, it takes its head off or something. Holly home. I would put it here. Let's move on to my closet. Real quickly, I'm still working on how to figure out how to do these cobweb strings. Maybe I'll straight stretch them out and wrap them around my lamp more. Put a bunch of little mini spiders. And somewhere is one of those big spiders I showed as a queen. Maybe after this, I'll like string it out. Whatever spiders fall, I can place on it. Next up, I got balloons, because I'm a clown. I had red ones last year, but I used this all up. So, it's unopened. Also got a Spirit Halloween clown horn, and I use occasionally. And it has like paint or makeup on it for me. But that's part of the charm. Next up, we got a little party blower. I used it a lot, and some of the strings came off. I guess it's still affected. And I made the dogs bark. Because so I got a kazoo that I also use sometimes. It works well. <laughs> Here's my dog, who's trying to see what the deal is with the noise. I'll be gone with you. All right, next up, I try to recreate the Slender Man notes. I crumbled paper up and just used a pen and looked up the images, so maybe I might dirt, make them look more dirty and some of the little blood stains and maybe cuts and just go over them in Sharpie if necessary. I might glide over them. It might be a bit hard to see. But... Yeah, I like, I like them. I think I did a good job. Technically Halloween like the Joker and his cat because they're clowns and a Lego hidden side cemetery. I build more cemetery Halloween themed sets. Also update the collection vid next year with that. And finally for my room decorations, I have a ghost faced ghost face like hanger thing and maybe I'll get another one of those hangers to hang around there maybe a ghost girl or a clown just hanging out there and so we have a bloody messed up cloth curtain fabric thing from spirit I like how it looks I just don't like how it don't leave little strings and fabric particles everywhere on my clothes that touch it on my floor that's only my big complaint and with this to complete my ghost face collection I might go on eBay also to get the Scream 6 Cinemark promotional tumbler little cup of straw plushie and popcorn bucket but that's gonna cost a lot more in the boo buckets. I forgot to bring this out earlier. I'm a bunny clown since last year, 2022. Me and my friend were bunny clowns. My, I left my bunny tail pinned on my costume, so I'll get that this year. But I'm hugs, she was kisses. So she had X's, we bloody dirty them up. Got some makeup on mine. 
but she moved to our asylum this year, but next year she might come back as Kisses the Clown. And we can be clown twins again. Up here, there's all the spare spiders in case I run out. Uh, in case I don't come back to spirit, I just got a spirit Halloween bag. I forgot these. These are the Halloween Oreos. Once I'm finished with these, I will cut all the things out I need and just carry them because it's technically Halloween decoration still. I just put them somewhere. Whenever I get Halloween packaged food, I'll just do that. For the next two sets of things, I'm not gonna display them in my closet just cause there's no room. Once I get my own place, I'll probably display them. So here's all my Lego Halloween type figures. Some custom, some not. So I guess we'll start at the back. Yeah, Golden Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, Chica, Freddy, McFarlane Toys, Lefty. I had the Nightmare Bonnie and Funtime Foxy ones, but I foolishly gave them away to Goodwill. Or got rid of them, because they're not Lego. I don't know why, but I'll track those down. Toy Chica, Toy Bonnie. And Toy Freddy. I unintentionally lined them up by game appearance. And Carl the Cupcake. So we have a Mario Bone Goomba, Marceline, a Bat, a Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, and Poppy, a Dementor, a Mermaid, Nearly Headless Nick, and Death Eater, a Spiders, and a Rat. It's Peter Pettigrew's rat form, but it'll still count. Jack, Freddy Krueger, Sam, Friday 13th, Part 2 Jason, or Traditional Jason, Twisty, Pennywise, I think that's King Diamond, Veal Juice, I don't know who the scientist was, Ghostface, Demogorgon, Michael Myers, Chucky, Samara, I think, from the ring, Billy the Puppet, I think Headless Horseman, Captain Spaulding, Leatherface, Pyramid Head, Bubblehead Nurse, uh, Pinhead, Reagan, Sally, that's a custom, that's the official Jack, and that's the custom Jack and Elvira or Elvira. So I have hidden side ghosts I have. Spencer the ghost dog and a skeleton. Morbius from Marvel. A Joker again and Harley Quinn. Uh, a jungle skeleton and a weather skeleton. Over here are custom knockoff, not custom, knockoff Lego. Zombies from Dollar Tree. They came with hunters, they were blind bags. There's a one hunter and two zombies in each bag for that series. The hunters are zombie like. It's like the Legos. I'm not gonna display these, but I'll go through them. So I don't have black cat figures, so these are like replacements. A spider that was part of a ring, but I ripped the ring part off. I had a crazed jester, uh, Party City costume as a kid, and these were on his like staff thing. I just ripped it off. A D and D dread demon figure, <clears throat> a big shark skeleton creature. There's the eye that was in the pirate skeleton over there. These zombies were from 
a mobile game. Like you put it on your phone and you play as those characters. A uh, golden T-Rex skull. A skeleton pirate. I know it's a wolf, but it can be like a werewolf. To me. Some little knockoff. Like Pokemon figures. Uh, Crobat. Trevenant, Aeron, two Gengars. Gothita and Gothorita, I think. Sableye and Cubone on their own Two like eraser monsters. And Spider-Man 2099, because it'd be on the Spider-Verse, he's a vampire. A zombie Pigman before there's a zombified Pigman. An alternate face. Skylanders, uh, two Chop Chops, Night Shift, Grim Creeper, Prison Break, like a monster, Bunny uh, Bones, I forgot his name, uh, Fiesta, uh, I Eyeball, <laughs> yeah, Skeletor, An Alien, because aliens are. Halloween kind of. A big monster from a Kinder Egg, a little alien dude. And I think the original Godzilla, because the original Godzilla movie is classified as horror. I think this is the design. And yeah, I think that's all the Halloween stuff I have. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll do this next year with updated stuff. Goodbye.